Hello everybody, my name is Premier Rick Lightyaskov and welcome to the first episode of my Let's Play series of Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown. Yep, it's finally here. I'm so happy and I love it. You wanna know why? You'll see. Let's start the campaign, restart story. Do you wanna reset the campaign? Yeah, I do, because I literally played all the missions and I just wanna fucking start a new one. I just wanna, yeah, just, just fuck. We'll do it live, fuck it. Uh, let's do normal. Let's do normal. We'll, we'll, we'll be fine. Does the color of the sky mean anything special to you? Not really. It does to me. A hell of a lot. Well, that's a damn shame. <laughs> Alright, I'll shut up. When I'm I close sorry. my eyes, the sky in my dreams is a deep, dark blue. Title drop! Well, I can not really title drop it. Fuck you. Pilots have been in my family for four generations. Flying's in my DNA. Bitch, you ain't a bird. And so, my grandpa didn't want me joining the Air Force. He lost faith in the Ocean Air Defense the day my dad died in battle. You no, know, Abby. I wish you could see what it's like up there. Cruising above the clouds, the dark blue of the stratosphere. Nothing beats being at the controls and seeing it from the cockpit. Look here. Gramps tossed a magazine over to me with an article. Unmanned fighters are no longer a dream, it read. Pilots taking to the skies will soon be a distant memory. Bullshit! I don't see anything good coming from that. Know what? Lying smack dab in the middle of the desert west of here, there's a bunch of planes from the last war. Some of them have been mothballed, but most of them are just rusted piles of junk waiting to be scrapped. Oof. Gramps was really good friends with the super there, so he got to take whatever he wanted, no questions asked. That's how we got the parts to build our own plane. Now, when I say we, I mean me, my grandpa, and his old war buddies. I cut my teeth working with those geezers. They taught me their skills and some dirty jokes. But with their aging eyeballs and whatnot, I ended up having to do most of the work myself. I was at the airstrip doing some flight training when I saw it. A prototype drone. It wasn't much of a plane, more of a trash can with wings. <laughs> Laugh at it all you want, kid. But technology's always changing. If you don't keep up with it, it'll leave your ass behind. Oh no. <laughs> it took six years and eight months to get that engine running. And it took us another year and a half after that to finally get the balance of the airframe just right. I'd gone from being a little girl to, well, still a girl, just older. But now, I was all alone. Oof. <sighs> Wherever the souls of my Gramps and his pals are flying, I hope it's peaceful. You're dancing with the angels. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to say it. I'm say I had to say it. This kind of six reference. Then, finally, I was ready to break the sound barrier. All this plane could do was take off, accelerate, and fly up. Well, how the fuck are you gonna land if it only does that shit? Oh, hi. Scorpion 7. But hi. <laughs> Chasing that thing. Doing 30 G's at least. Damn, I've never seen anything move that fast. It had a rose painted on it. The Erusion emblem. But that country's a whole continent away from here. Uh oh. Should have built a deterrent too. Oh, that's your roof. 
Well, that was a big fat fucking rest in peace. <laughs> As my one friend would say. Mission one, charge yourself. Is everyone here? Yes, everyone's here. Settle down. No. I said settle down. No, fuck you. We're getting under attack. We fuck you. Been instrumental in helping to maintain peace in Yuzha as members of the International Union Peacekeeping Force. Until today. Earlier, our radar site informed us that a group of unidentified aircraft was approaching. Communication systems went down immediately after. We are led to conclude that they have attacked the site. Uh oh. Here's your mission. It's possible that the Yuzhin ceasefire agreement has been broken for the first time in over a decade. As of today, the Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron, the IUPF, has been put on high alert. All members who have been ordered to sortie fly there immediately. Find the unidentified craft, then use your weapons to round them up and force them to land. If the hostiles counterattack, then you will. Uh oh. Was that? There's smoke! We're under attack. Numerous unidentified aircraft have burned overhead. What? How is that possible? The tank farm to the north has been bombed. Many injured. Tank farm. <laughs> All units, take off and eliminate the unidentified craft attacking the base. We have a this farm for. A drill. Fuck you. We have a farm for tanks? What? I mean, I guess there's a place where you put the tank, but still. Start mission. Also, I want to I want to show you something. Well, obviously, I have like a bunch of planes right now. This isn't all of them, but it's a good amount. Anyway, um, I want to show you something real quick. See that red star right there? I want to thank the some of the guys over in Fontaman's Discord server for helping me get that because we we're literally playing all night last night, like basically farming each other for XP. It was hilarious. Like we were like it was it was it was a it was a fun night. I I they're they're they're, they're, they're good dudes. Shout out to shout out to everybody over there. I I mean I remember who was there. I just don't feel like naming names because just tell them I said thank you. <laughs> um. So yeah, we'll we'll start with the rail gun because why not? It's a fucking rail gun. It's a goddamn rail gun on an Su thirty three with a red star on it. Let's go. I already have the parts on the so. All right, let's go. We've been recording for 13 minutes. Oh my god. I think 13 minutes, 12, 13. I don't know. No, it's not. No, it hasn't been that long. It hasn't been that long. What the fuck? No, it's been like what, like five minutes maybe? Max? Five max? Radar sight still know. silent. Scramble. Get those birds in the sky. Yeah, that red star looks beautiful. What's happening? Bombers incoming. Don't know how many. Let's clear that runway. We don't got all day here. Mate squadron, head to runway. The literal no, only way. Link to Skykeeper. Hurry, mate squadron. The literal only way that that red star would look better is if it was. Um, yeah, if it was the if it was the new Soviet Air Force Rumble. Which, it's still a star, obviously. It's, it's still. A, shut up! I'm trying to tell a story here. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a red star, but it's got gold outline and a gold hammer and stuff like that. So yeah, I wanted to make it look cooler. You know, like it's, it's that red. All right, watch this shit. Now watch this drop. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah, I, gotta, I gotta show you how it opens. See, here it is. And fire. Got him. <laughs> when I was when I was playing uh, this game with Fontaine's friends, well, not really friends. But I, 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 some of them. That's what Martin was. Anyway, I don't know. I was playing with people in Fontaine's Discord server last night. And I was using not this. I was using um, I was using the uh, XO2 Wyvern, which is the last plane in the game that you get. Um, I'll, I'll probably show that off like in another episode. But uh, yeah, flap, got him. 
I was I was using the XO2 Wyvern with the railgun, and uh, it's funny. Let's just say that. When I like, I like this, but the Wyvern is so much more maneuverable. It's kind of scary. Okay, they, 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 my, my allies killed them, so. Moving on to the next set of bombers. I also have Stragon Team's emblem, too. I was going to use that originally, but then I found out, like, a couple days ago that you can get a red, the red star, and I'm like, <gasps> I need it! I have a mighty need for that red star! And... Flap. This is my missile from this guy. Boop. I also really like this ace. Damn it! Fuck. Oh well. Their trigger settled down. Mage two. Maintain your element with mage one. Do not break off. Mage one. Make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Me, you didn't do anything stupid. Fuck you. I do what I want. Also, on the PS4, you see the sun right there. The bloom is on in the PS4. You can't turn it off, and it's really fucking. It's really fucking just like bright as shit and it's like blinding so I turn that off for this PC let's play and I'm really fucking glad you can turn it off because otherwise I would be struggle busting so goddamn hard in this game <laughs> Also, the music in this game is fucking incredible. Like, I mean, it's not as good as Ace Combat Assault Rising Legacy. Like, that is probably my absolute favorite Ace Combat soundtrack. But this is pretty fucking good. This, this is, this is good. I like this. It's very. Uh, you know, it's kind of funny. Like me, me and my friend Jeff, um, basically come up with 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 a. Uh, we basically came up with a with an analogy of this game, of these kind of Ace Combat games. Literally, Ace Combat is literally Gundam but with planes. That's literally that's literally what it is. It's just Gundam with planes. <laughs> that's what this game is. It's Gundam with planes. And goodbye. <laughs> it's Gundam with planes. It's fucking gonna be clean. Oh yeah. Mission accomplished. I don't know why I said like that. Da, that I do. Yeah, yeah. Just having that red star is so fucking beautiful. What's the deal with all the drones? We did not see any drones, sorry. Call of one. Return to base and report for debriefing. <laughs> Sniff. I am Princess Rosa Cassette Delise of the Kingdom of Arugia. Okay. Booty. Booty, 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 booty. Why do I keep saying booty? I, I, I gotta stop saying booty. I gotta stop doing that. I don't know why. I just, it just happens. It just fucking happens. We are currently <laughs> assessing the damage to the base. We have confirmed that the aircraft carrier Albatross was sunk. 
We know the attacking bogies were from Arusha. International Union peacekeeping force bases all over the Union continent were attacked in the same way. The damage is severe. So they blitzkrieg us. By failing to recover from the opening blows. That means successfully retaliating was very important. You may have turned the tides of battle here. You have our thanks. You're welcome. All right. All righty. Well, that has been the first episode of my Ace Combat 7 Skies of Known Let's Play. I'll just probably say Ace Combat 7 in future episodes. Anyway, this has been, that has been the last, the last episode. The first episode. What is today? Anyway, I'll see you guys next week. Stay cheeky-breaky and dos vedania.